Hi, I'm Karen Christensen. I'm the Executive Director for the Resource Conservation District of Santa Cruz County. In the 1990s, the County of Santa Cruz was trying to pursue a regulated approach to complying with the nitrate TMDL. And in response to that, the RCD and the NRCS and several of our board members participated on the Technical Advisory Committee, basically trying to find an alternative to regulation. It took a number of years in meeting with the County of Santa Cruz to really put together a concept of how we might address livestock facilities in a non-regulatory manner and yet still achieve the water quality objectives that the County of Santa Cruz really wanted. From the landowner's perspective, the challenges really were dealing with mud and manure, uh, dealing with facilities uh, in constrained environments, and we recognized that we needed to have innovative solutions in helping them in their needs as well as addressing the water quality priorities of the community and the county. I call it education and example because if you get one person in the neighborhood to do something and they're happy then the other neighbor sees wow he's got a good thing going and and it continues and I think this program has been excellent in keeping everybody enthusiastic and of course at the same time the end result was better water quality when we uh, saw the advertisement for the livestock and land programs for uh, manure madness and the um, uh, mud programs and how to control it and how to recover your pastures and all of that, we went, sign us up. We, we trying to go there. We've done so many things over the years to try and make improvements to our property. We would change things trying to control the mud and change things trying to control the manure and we couldn't figure out what to do with it and it got worse and worse and worse. With everybody's help, we were able to come up with a plan to redesign our barn area and um, most importantly redesign our access up to the pastures and, and um, start rethinking the way that we use our pastures. It's been much better for us because we're not um, up to our elbows in mud every year and, um, and also much better for the watershed. As I meet with uh, ranch owners on their properties and I see some of the issues they have, it's interesting to note that many of these issues are issues they don't even realize that they have in some cases. In other cases, they just don't know what to do about them. And so they do what they think is best. And oftentimes they do something that actually makes problems worse. When we make visits to private properties, we help horse owners and horse facility operators with site plans, with conservation planning, with selecting proper and best management practices to control sources of runoff, erosion, giving them ideas for drainage control around their barns and horse facilities. There's many, many options, and we try to find options for every budget. It's not all about putting a lot of infrastructure on the landscape. Work with the natural landscape and understand these processes in your horse operation. When we started with this program, we were, um, we were afraid to have the people from Ecology Action and the people from Livestock and Land come to our property because we were aware of the fact that we had done a really bad job of figuring out how to deal with the manure. But we didn't exactly know how to deal with it. And so we got advice and we went to a whole bunch of other demonstration sites um, and looked at manure bunkers and we um, constructed the manure bunker. This is the bunker. <laughs> Ecology Action and its partners have been a huge uh, resource of information and technical help in designing the drain systems that I have put into place, in suggesting creative ways of intercepting waters and bringing it out to the street, clean of any sediment. We can all help handle the same inherent difficulties that horse facility owners have. The manure problem, the runoff problem with the water, land erosion issues, things like that. The end result is 
happy landowners and they go to their neighbors or their neighbors see the projects and it just keeps escalating. We at the RCD really push for just keeping that positive attitude going and helping the neighbors and the landowners and it's paying off incredibly. This is more than just about water quality. This is about improving the aesthetics of your ranch, increasing and protecting your property values, reducing risk and liability from potential offsite damages, improving relations with, with neighbors. There's so many other benefits than just water quality when it comes to doing conservation on a farm or ranch facility um, and particularly when horses are on the landscape. The peer leadership groups, the demonstration projects, the outreach and media have really been highly successful. And we find that over time, more and more people keep wanting access to the opportunities this program brings for innovative problem solving to address water quality concerns. So with that in mind, I would invite other RCDs and NRCS to really look at this program to work out problems in a voluntary manner achieve high priority water quality concerns through innovative thinking and program development. Livestock and land is really a new and unique solution. We welcome you to join us and our partners in learning more about it. Thank you.